Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil back with another Animal Crossing New Horizons episode. So Nintendo just dropped the release trailer for the January update, revealing tons of information. So in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Animal Crossing New Horizons January update, and we're getting started right now. So first off, the update is going to be available on January 28th of 2021. And so once the January update drops, it will be downloaded as a software update and bring us all up to version 1.7.0. In addition, it looks like the update will be applied to both Northern and Southern Hemisphere players so everyone globally can enjoy this update and all the details involved. Now, according to the Nintendo official website, it looks like we simply need to wait for the January 28th update to drop and then it'll be downloaded to our Nintendo Switch so we do want to make sure that we have a user linked with a Nintendo Online account, but I think that's pretty typical for any of these updates. And then once again, according to Nintendo's official website, it says that you need to match the date and time of the Nintendo Switch main unit to the actual date of when the event is going to take place. So now what that is basically saying is you just need to have your Nintendo Switch set to the current date and time uh, so that when February 15th gets here, you can actually participate in the event. And then of course, as usual, the last step is to load the game after the event date, after February 15th gets here, to get a smaller update that actually enables the events to take place, and then that will bring us up to 1.7.0a. And so as you can see, they're still blocking time traveling to this date to participate in the event, so we'll have to wait until the day of to download the update, and then we can participate in the Festivale events. Although do keep in mind that you can time travel backwards after the official real time date has passed in case you miss it for some reason. So let's take a closer look at all of the pictures and the video details to uncover any hidden details about this update. Because on the website it, it explains a few things about what to expect, but let's take a closer look to see what we can actually see that's happening in these pictures and in, in, inside of the actual release trailer. So if we take a look at this picture, we can see that there are some confetti flying around. We also see that Pave is set up in the town square and everybody is gathered around. And we can see some different feather headbands that each player is wearing and they'll all have different color of clothing on and that's all kind of the same design, but it looks to be different colors and maybe Maybe some are dresses and some are jackets, but we can see that there's definitely some differences there. We can also see as part of the setup at the bottom part of this picture that there are some little decorations that are made from green and yellow feathers. And we can also see that on the town square, it's been wrapped in ribbon that is kind of yellow and green with little jewels or, or something as a pattern. Now looking at the next picture, we can see a close up of Pave with all of his bright colors and his little dance platform. And with this picture, we see a closer view of some of the clothes that are going to be available for purchase and some of the different color variations. And we can also have a closer look at the feather caps that some of the players are wearing. Okay, so let's take a look at the next photo that really doesn't show too much else different other than the confirmation of the confetti falling from the sky and also more color variations of clothing and the feather caps that we'll be wearing on our heads. We can kind of see a close up of some of uh, the feather caps and kind of the details around what they're going to look like. And then the next picture is showing how excited Pave gets when you give him a feather. But I'm really not sure what the difference of his reactions will be if you give him a feather versus a rainbow feather. The official website said that you would surely be pleased with giving him a rainbow feather, but I'm really unsure as to what that's going to give us. It could be a, a special dance or it could be a special furniture piece or special prize from Pave. Alright, so now looking at this next photo, we can see that there is confetti falling. We can also see the character is chasing a pink feather that's falling from the sky. And of course, we have a good screenshot of the human character wearing the different apparel, which looks to be a dress with shoes and some head apparel. Something else that I've also noticed is that the character has a colorful bug net, which may indicate that we have some more options to choose from customizing our tools for this event. And then another small detail I'm noticing is right next to the little pond on the left, we can see that there are some little, I guess, little weights with a string and it looks to be holding balloons down from flying away. So that makes me think that we'll be able to purchase uh, some of these balloons from Nook's Shopping. And then this photo shows just kind of a confirmation of the colorful bug net, which I don't remember if it's different. I mean, the handle looks a little bit different. So there could be that we have some special bug nets um, to catch the feathers. 
that we can purchase from Nook Shopping. And then we can also see that the characters caught a pink feather and the character behind her, the villager behind her, we can see the type of clothes that they are wearing. But I think that we've seen this already in the first couple of pictures, so it's nothing really new. And then lastly, the confirmation behind the pond on the left, we can see the uh, kind of a close-up of the weights holding down the balloons. And I believe there is a photo coming up in just a second that will actually show uh, the new balloons. All right, so moving on, this next photo doesn't really show any extra details other than the reactions from Pave when he's getting a feather from the player. And in the video, we can really see uh, how excited he's, he's really getting about these feathers. And if you actually watch the uh, release trailer, you can see that the character is giving Pave the pink feather that she just caught and he's getting super excited and doing a dance just from that pink feather. So I, I'm still really curious about those rainbow feathers and what it's going to mean when we give him a rainbow feather. Now this next photo has a ton of information. Let's just kind of break this down. So we can see that um, there's a whole bunch of different items to collect or purchase or maybe do DIY crafting recipes by collecting feathers or something. Um, but after we receive the 1.7.0 update, we should be able to start uh, seeing this stuff come to fruition. Now we can see that there's the balloons that I was talking about earlier. We can see what looks to be beach umbrellas. And then in the bottom left and right, we can see those little feather lights um, that Pave had set up in the, uh, in the main area. And also some different colored floor lights that are available. Now I don't remember if there are already green floor lights available and whether or not these are new but it does look really cool in the picture, so I might have to get some. But we, uh, we can also see that some um, extra decorations for our little stands, if you look over here to the left, we can see that um, they've set up a stand with uh, different feather decorations. And also the flags in the background, we can also see that there are some new flags coming. We can see the drum feather sets. We can see that the, there's you know some new drums with the feathers that are attached to them, which looks really cool. Oh, and one thing I didn't want to uh, forget about is there is a confetti machine that's blowing the confetti around. If you look kind of to the right of the players on the ground, you can see a confetti machine that's blowing confetti around. So I'm, I'm really wondering, so I'm really curious if we're going to be able to purchase this confetti machine and have it on our island and turn this thing on whenever we feel like it, or if it's just for the event. I'm really not sure. I hope that we can purchase this because I could really see it being a fun thing to use if you've got something set up for like a birthday or for one of your villagers or something like that. It would be really cool to uh, to incorporate this into our islands. Now let's talk a little bit more about the Festivale event, which is on February 15th, um, which is actually a Monday. And let's talk a little bit about what you're going to be doing. Um, and this is all according to the official Nintendo website. So looking at all of the pictures and the actual release trailer, we can see the confetti uh, and the feathers flying around. But it says if you collect feathers of various colors that are flying around in the sky only on this day, only on February 15th, and give them to Pave, then Pave will perform a passionate dance as a reward. And then the article also goes on to read about the rainbow feathers that are going to be available. They are more rare and can be caught by the players. And then it says when you give it to Pave, you'll surely be pleased, which I'm guessing that they're keeping this kind of under wraps and we won't really know uh, what is going to be given to us for giving Pave a rainbow feather. It could be that we see, see some sort of special furniture items or maybe it's a special dance or just really unsure at this point. They're kind of keeping that under their hat. And again, the article goes on, it says, um, from February 1st, you'll be able to purchase event furniture that is perfect for decorating the island and it'll begin to show up at your Nook's shopping. Also, the uh, costumes that you can purchase will start to be available at Able Sisters. So it seems like they are giving us the furniture and the head pieces and all of the you know dresses and jackets and things to prep for the actual event and it doesn't look like it's going to be like the past games where we have had to win the special furniture pieces. It sounds like we'll be able to purchase the special furniture pieces, but um, I guess we won't know until the actual uh, event takes place. And when I do find out, I'll make another video to fill you guys in on those details. Now we do see some more reactions coming to our players. And if we look back at the release trailer, we can see that all of the players are running over to that kind of the, that really busy area that I was talking about where we've got the balloons and the stands and the confetti machine and uh, they all are doing a different reaction so we should see four different reactions coming and looking at the Nintendo official website the translations for Google Translate were a bit off so I couldn't actually get the names of the reactions 
that we're going to get, but there are going to be four of them. Now, we can expect to see a couple items for Valentine's Day. I was actually shocked to see this. I thought that they would just kind of skip over this. But according to their website, from February 1st to the 14th, you can order heart chocolate and heart rose bouquets from Nook's Shopping. According to the website, we can see that there will be different colors and designs e available every day that you can purchase. So if you want to collect them all, then you should be able to do that by visiting Nook Shopping every day. And then also to celebrate uh, Setsubun, which is a Japanese holiday to celebrate spring, they're going to give us some additional clothing items that will be available to purchase until February 3rd. Also, we're going to see some additional items for purchase that are more seasonal as well, uh, such as what you're seeing in these photos. And we all know that Super Bowl Sunday is coming up very soon so they have provided some football themed items for purchase such as rugs clothes and more also we'll be receiving maracas in our mailbox and that should be delivered right after we've downloaded the 1.7.0 update and we can use that for the Festivale event to kind of celebrate with all of our villagers and uh, other players. Now when the updates actually drop and when the events actually occur, I'm going to be doing some more videos, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. 